Hi, Professor Pratham. Would you like to see an electrolyzer? Sure. Yeah, so I've got a lab scale prototype and wow. as you can see, uh, we can supply water from this side and once we supply the electricity, uh, the electricity splits the water into respective hydrogen and oxygen and we can collect it from the other side. Wow, isn't that interesting? It's such a small piece of equipment can basically break down water and produce a valuable source of energy in the form of hydrogen. This is where we would want to bring you all. So we welcome you to this course, which is entitled Electrochemical and Economic Aspects of Hydrogen Energy. My name is Pratham Arora and along with my colleague Professor Amit Bhosle will be taking you through this course which is being stationed at Department of Hydro and Renewable Energy at IIT Roorkee. In this course, we'll try to make you understand the energy scenario and the role of hydrogen in that scenario. Currently, we are using hydrogen to the tune of 100 million tons a year. Now, we are using a lot of hydrogen today. Where exactly? I don't know, but we'll learn in the course. But if you are producing so much of hydrogen, we will also be producing it. Are we using electrolysis? Not really. We are using a lot of fossil fuels for producing it. That happens to be really cheap as compared to the electrolysis route. But why are we not using electrolysis? Because it is costlier. And this is what we are going to understand. How does the cost economics work behind production of hydrogen through electrolysis compared to that of fossil fuels? And then Professor Amit takes over. Yeah, so once we understand the basic concepts of hydrogen, we will try to take this course ahead and I will understand this electrochemical system through the domain of thermodynamics. And we here we will understand that uh, the Gibbs free energy is nothing but the electrical potential that is available in these electrochemical systems. We will also see that this potential gets altered as and when we supply this reactant species at different temperature and pressure conditions. After that, we will uh, go through the different losses that take place through these fuel cells as well as electrolyzers, that is activation over potential, ohmic over potential and mass transport over potential. We will also try to understand different flow field designs that basically you know influence the mass transport of phenomena in this electrochemical systems and we will also see uh, different flow field designs such as uh, serpentine flow field pattern interdigitated flow field pattern and the parallel flow field pattern at the end we will also see scale up issues such as water management heat management and the contact resistance after that the session will be handled by officer pratham so by this time, you would have learned a lot about hydrogen production and utilization. But what lies in between? Hydrogen storage and transportation. We'll try to understand how do we really store hydrogen in different means and what are the transportation means available, coupled with the associated economics. What is going to work and what would be challenging in the future? But is that all? No, we would also want to export or import a lot of hydrogen. So when as mass shipping of hydrogen is concerned, what are the possible pathways? We'll try to dig into it, try to understand the transportation of hydrogen with the help of different carriers. And finally, we will also want to understand the carbon footprint of hydrogen. We, because we would want to go for green or low carbon hydrogen, how do we really estimate the carbon footprint of this hydrogen? And then, Professor Amit? Yeah, so in order to make this course more interesting, we have also brought some lab scale demonstrations for the audience, such as how a fuel cell is assembled, how an electrolyzer is assembled, how these systems are characterized, how the contact pressure is uh, quantified and it's measured at the interface of electrode and pipe plate, etc. So with that, I welcome you all to this course and wish you all a very all the best. Thank you.